Welcome to your practice. My name is Alicia. This class is designed to help you let go of the stress of the day and wind down before bedtime. So before we get started, just make sure that you have a bolster or a block handy. If you don't have one of those, you could use a pillow that's a little bit um, more dense or a rolled up blanket or even a rolled up towel. We'll need those close by for later in class. And you might also want to have either a warm sweater on or a blanket next to you just for the meditation portion that follows the movement portion where you might get a little bit cold. So once you have that, we're going to arrive into our child's pose. Taking your knees apart, your big toes together, let the hips settle back towards the heels. They don't have to touch and you can just crawl the hands out, rest the forehead into the floor, maybe give it just a little rocking side to side. And take a deep breath in through your nose to fill up the lungs and the belly and sigh everything out. arriving here at the end of your day. Resting your bones into the earth and preparing to let go of all the stress that has accumulated, of all the situations that you went through. And letting them be letting yourself move on and move past. And bringing a lot of awareness into your breath, lengthening your inhales and your exhales so that they are equal and deliberate. with some focused intention, breathing out the stress, exhaling your doubts, exhaling your worries, sending them off, and breathing in a bright new energy. Inhaling hope, inhaling peace, inhaling calm. Deep breath in, crawl your fingers forward, stretching through both side bodies. On an exhale, bring your hands over to the right side of the mat so you can have a nice stretch through the left side legs. Use a deep breath to fill up your left lung and sigh it out, melting into this posture, letting the muscles release, the bones relax, Inhale the hands back through center. Exhale, take them over to the left. And invite a deep breath into the right lung. And sigh it all out. Settling into this new posture. Resting heavily into the earth. Inhale, bringing the hands back through center and start to just crawl them underneath the body, coming into a tabletop position, letting the hips settle on top of the knees and the shoulders settle on top of the wrists. Inhale to sink the belly towards the earth, raising your gaze, raising your tailbone. And then 
exhale, rounding your spine, looking for the belly button, pressing away the floor, and moving gently here a few times through this cat-cow sequence. Eventually, inviting in any kind of movement that also feels healing or soothing in your body. So you might circle the ribcage, you might gaze back towards one hip or the other, but really internally seeking out those stuck places in the body and asking them to release. And through this movement, we ask the body to open up. Returning back through center. And then just start to take the chest forward, maybe letting the shoulders pass the wrists a little bit, but then exhale, taking it back, hips to heels. And we'll oscillate like this a few times. You could use the inhale to bring you forward and exhale to take you back. so slowly with your breath. Exhale, hips back. And one more time, inhale, breath in, gliding chest forward. Letting the toes tuck under if they aren't already and press your hips up high moving into downward facing dog in this downward dog moving so intuitively through all those ritual things you like to do to just get out the stuck places move the energy through the body so you might pedal the heels towards the floor you might sway the hips you might twist the hips you might hammock the back Whatever you're doing, make sure that it feels good in your body. Good. Coming back through center, take a deep breath in and then exhale, tippy toe your feet to the top of the mat or just coming into a forward fold. And in this one, bend your knees quite a bit to support your upper torso, bring your hands into opposite elbow creases and let everything hang so heavily here. So the head becomes heavy, the arms become heavy, and this starts to work with gravity, lengthening the spine. And take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, pour it out through the top of the head, everything residual, everything that isn't yours. dripping down back to earth. If it feels nice in the body, sway a little side to side. Maybe work towards lengthening the legs a bit more. to the earth. We're just going to lower down to a seat. Extending the right leg long and pulling your left foot to the inner right thigh. Turn your torso over towards the right hip. Inhale to reach your hands high. Exhale, hinging at your hip into a fold. And this can be any kind of fold. You can just round slightly, bending towards the leg. You could keep your gaze towards the foot and lead with your heart but just knowing what is best for you knowing what soothes your body and not making this any kind of intense stretch there's no striving here just surrendering into the posture letting go of any rough edges, any rigid places in your body. Good. 
Inhale, rise up all the way. We'll just go right into the left side. Extend the left leg out. Pull the right foot to the inner left thigh. Turn your torso to face the left leg. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, bow. And just be with your breath here in the space. Inhales, drawing in the energy that you wish to hold. And exhales, taking away what does not serve. And rather than an exhale that sends away this nasty energy, let it be just a surrender, a giving up, a gentle send off, letting go. Inhale, rise all the way back up. And now we're going to come onto our backs. Make sure that your block or your bolster, the thing that we're going to use to elevate our hips soon, is close by you. I'm laying all the way down. Good. Planting your left foot into the floor, cross the right ankle over top of your left thigh. And for just a beat, press the right knee away from you actively. And then start to draw your left knee in closer towards you. And it'll be up to you how far you want to bring it in. You can use the hands on the backs of the thigh or maybe just in front of your knee to guide it in gently closer. And keep letting the breath be a part of your consciousness. Creating those long and deliberate inhales and exhales, clearing out the body. Good. Lower the left foot down to earth. Cross the right knee all the way over top of the left. And then bring the arms into a cactus shape on the floor. Allow your hips to tip over towards the left. Coming into a revolved belly twist. Now you might keep this crisscross in the legs or you might just let it go completely. It's up to you. Coming into your best twist. And if you can melt through your hips, through your abdomen, Relax your forehead. Relax your jaw. Relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And if you don't need your eyes anymore, you might close them here. Bring the legs back to center. Plant down the right foot into the earth and cross your left ankle over top of the right thigh. And for just a breath, pressing your left knee away, away, away. And then gathering your right leg closer towards you, you can clasp your hands under your thigh or maybe in front of your shin. melting through your pelvis, through your glutes, and with every exhale see if you can surrender even deeper into the posture. Letting the mind gently probe into the body, seeking out the places of stored tension, and letting them go as much as you can. And lower the right foot back to the floor, keeping this crisscross in the legs 
cactus the arms onto the floor and then cross the left knee all the way over top of the right. Allow the hips to shift over towards the right. And if you don't like the cross in the legs, feel free to just make this twist into anything that feels soothing in your own body. Breathing more space into the heart. In all the places that it feels challenging to breathe, Send some love there and tell your body that it is safe. Okay, bringing the legs back through center Plant both feet down into the earth now, taking hold of your block, bolster, blanket, whatever it is you have. And then just slide it underneath of the hips, right behind the hip bones, right behind the sacrum. And come into a supported bridge pose. So everything is relaxing here. There's no holding. If there's any pain with the block or anything, just move it so that there isn't. Move it down probably to support the hips more. Option is to stay exactly like this, or option two, lift your legs up high to our waterfall pose. And let everything flow back towards the heart, dropping you deep into your parasympathetic nervous system, a place where we rest and digest, the place where healing happens. option to stay here or in the supported bridge for the duration of the class or the next posture offered will be Shavasana. So coming into your final resting pose, whichever one you choose for yourself. You know a lot of people don't feel comfortable laying flat on their back so you might keep a bend in the knees or bring a bolster under the knees, whatever you have. And if that warm thing is close to you, you might drag it over top of your body now. Just making yourself very comfortable. Keeping the eyes closed. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And sigh everything out. Maybe one more just like that. Deep breath in through your nose. Sigh it all out. Melting into space. Letting go of all of the doing and all of the striving. Allowing the bones and the muscles, arriving into complete stillness. Now taking a moment to mentally walk through the events of your day. What happened in the morning, the afternoon, the evening? And just noticing the feeling you get as you walk through your your events of the day and noticing the energetic imprint associated with that recall
gathering that feeling together, gathering that energy into the body. Take a deep breath in through the nose and on a deep sigh exhale, release all of that energy. And do it again, one more time, gathering everything from the day, all of the residual stress, all of the energy, whether good or bad, pull it together and exhale, let it go. And one more time, gather it, inhale, and let it go, exhale, release. And now for a moment, Envision your tomorrow. Imagine the way that you will begin your day. Your plans for the afternoon. And how your evening will roll out. And if you were to show up as your very best self for your whole day tomorrow, what is the energy that you would hold? What is the feeling that you would embody? If you were to show up as your highest self, invite that in now. And it's not about if you experience the events that would make the perfect day, that's not in your control. It's about no matter what happens, you show up as your best. Pull in that energy. Inviting in the best version of yourself, holding your best energy, and being the brightest light that you are. Allow that loving light energy to wash over you now. Breathe it in. Let it flow through you. Invite in one more deep breath through the nose, filling up the lungs and the belly. And sigh everything out. I hope you have the very best sleep tonight. And the very best day ahead of you tomorrow. Thank you for your practice. Namaste.